Hey, what's up guys? Gable set here in iOS 14 is here and I have this beta on my iPhone this very early developer beta for about a day now and after using this for that time I have somehow realized that this is worth the upgrade there's actually a lot in here both big and small so I'm gonna show you this is the first look and hands-on at the features and what to expect for this iOS that will eventually hit on every iPhone users on their iPhones for the next month, late September, around then when it comes out. Are you excited? Because I'm excited and I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, so the very first feature that I am going to show it to you is a compact call interface which is my first favorite feature in IS 14. It is such a nice thing to have after years and years of being subjected to this right here. Alright see that how it is just interrupts your flow it is just like you have no choice if you're doing something and a call comes in whether a FaceTime or WhatsApp call or just a regular phone call, it is going to completely take over your screen and interrupt your flow. So iOS 14 addresses the issue and is definitely one of the top features. So all you need to do is actually, by the way, uh, it is enabled by default but actually disabled it so I could show it to you guys so go over head over to your settings okay go to the phone incoming call and you can set either banner or full screen let's choose banner So now you're all set and you're browsing along, you're doing your thing, and an incoming call comes in. Let's wait. See that? It doesn't take focus away for what you're doing. You can just ignore the phone call if you want, or you can just tap on it and open the full interface if you want to do that. It is just a nice feature to have and it's a good thing to have so what do you think guys let me know in the comment section below next feature is what we call the PIP or the picture in picture Apple first implemented picture in picture in the iPad way back in iOS 9 and users have been clamoring for it to come to the iPhone ever since with iOS 14, Apple is finally giving it, giving us our wish. PIP is coming to iPhone that works almost exactly like it does on iPad. To start watching a video in PIP mode, just tap the PIP icon in the upper left. You'll have to be using an app that supports PIP video like the TV app or Safari. The video will shrink down into the corner and tap it to view simple controls double tap it to change the video size small medium or large to access your app library head to your last page of apps swipe from right to left now you'll see the app library with automatically generated app categories app library brings some nice options to organize and simplify how you access apps with auto generated categories folders and the option to hide pages a new way to manage downloads in an alphabetical app list as well. Widgets have been available in the Today view, which can be accessed by swiping from left to right on the home screen. But in iOS 14, widgets get a design and functionality overhaul. Introducing a fresh design that uses less transparency, more spacing, and richer content to make widgets more useful. The redesign was implemented because, for the first time, 
widgets can move out of today's view and right into the home screen. Widgets can be customized with up three sizes, small, medium, and large, and a different amount of information is provided with each widget sizes. Hey Siri! What's the weather today? Weather for where? Weather in Dubai. It's currently clear and 38 degrees in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Expect partly cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. Temperatures are heading down from 38 degrees to 35 tonight. Apple has a new Translate app that will come with iOS 14. The app offers side-by-side -side translation into two languages. Also Doors features closing. an offline mode for a voice and text translations. Doors opening. The app comes with support for 11 languages, including Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. I love you. This new iPhone feature lets you customize double and triple taps on the back of your iPhone to use for shortcuts automations, accessibility features, and iOS system actions. On your iPhone, go to the settings, accessibility, tap touch, swipe to the bottom, and choose back tap. You get an option there, tap double tap or triple tap to peek in action. You can choose an action for double tap screenshot, for the triple tap, get your phone in the lock screen mode. Now let's try. Double tap. Right, screenshot is there. Let's try to delete that one. We don't need. Let's try the triple top lock screen mode. It's easy. Double top screenshot, triple top lock screen. Along with all new home screen widgets, iOS 14 offers the ability to remove app pages without deleting the apps. As another way to customize your experience, follow along for a look at how to hide iPhone app pages for a cleaner setup. Long press on the blank area of your home screen or any app page. You can long press on an app to and hold or choose edit home screen. When you're edit mode, tap the app page dot icons in the bottom middle of your screen. Uncheck app pages that you want to hide. Tap done in the top right corner. Now you can unhide your app pages at any time by reversing these steps.